One of the iconic buildings of downtown Marquette would have to be the third edition of the first Presbyterian church. You see, the first First Presbyterian Church was never actually constructed. In the early days of Marquette, community Presbyterian members had been using a building called the Session House, which was near the railroad tracks downtown, for services. By the 1860s, they decided it was time for a bigger building. All of the supplies for it, everything from the pews to the wainscoting, were sent to Marquette and arrived June 10th, 1868, where they were unloaded onto a dock. Those supplies were still sitting there the next day, June 11th, when that dock went up in flames in the Great Fire of 1868. Undaunted, church members reordered the supplies and by Christmas Day of that year held services at the second First Presbyterian Church. This was one of those classic buildings in Marquette, one that stood on the corner of Front and East Bluff for over 60 years. By 1931, church members were thinking of replacing the building. On August 31st of that year, they were saved the trouble of making a decision when a spark from a smokestack in Lower Harbor drifted up the hill and landed on the church's roof, igniting a blaze. While parishioners were inside trying to remove everything they could, firefighters tried to extinguish the flames on the roof. Unfortunately, it was a windy day, and by the time they were done, the roof had collapsed into the church itself, destroying the pews and the pipe organ. For the next four years, members of the church continued to meet in various locations around town, and after several of them made some rather generous bequests, planning began on the third First Presbyterian Church. This one is the white marble building that still stands in downtown Marquette. Opened in 1935, it's been expanded a few times over the years, and after eight and a half decades, still stands as one of the iconic buildings in a downtown that seems to have more than its fair share of iconic buildings.